In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some incredible things you can do in October and definitely keep yourself entertained in London. Hi everyone, Ugo Renze with Onyx Property Team in Keller Williams. Thanks so much for checking out my YouTube channel for another episode. As you know, I am a London-based property agent. I specialize in helping clients relocate to London, buy a property in London, or even sell in London. So I love sharing on my YouTube channel tips on the property market, um, whether for buyers, sellers, renters, landlords, but also enjoying and exploring this incredible city. So here's another great video on the cultural side of things. And I'm gonna be sharing with you some amazing things that you can do in London in October. So let's dive in. So with the release of the latest Bond movie, No Time to Die, Lika Cameras is celebrating the release um, and they're hosting a new exhibition at their Duke Street Gallery showcasing behind the scene images shot on the set of the film. Featuring works by Greg Williams, Nicola Dove, producer Michael G. Wilson and Daniel Craig himself. All the images were of course shot on their Leica cameras and the exhibition also coincides with the release of a limited Leica Q2 007 edition camera of which there's only 250 made. It's going on from the 10th of September to the 15th of October and their location on Duke Street in Mayfair so you definitely might want to check it out. As October is Black History Month in the UK, I definitely want to showcase some Black History Month events that are happening as well. First up, you can join a Black History River Cruise to explore thousands of years of African and Caribbean history with a special lineup of historical speakers. That's going on on the 3rd of October. By the way, for anything you like in this video, uh, we will have the links in the show notes. You can check it out and don't worry about having to find it on your, on your own. You can also discover contemporary works by black artists at Zari Gallery's Honor, Remember, Inspire exhibition. And that's going on from the 4th through the 29th of October. You can also follow young actress Lou on a haunting journey through London's past and present with rockets and blue lights at the National Theatre, and that's on until the 9th of October. You can see American playwright Alicia Harris's award-winning tale of revenge in Is God Is at the Royal Court Theatre, and that's on until the 23rd of October. You can celebrate six decades of works from British Ghanaian photographer James Brarner in a major retrospective exhibition at the Serpentine North Gallery, and that's on until October 24th. I checked it out, and it's absolutely a phenomenal gallery exhibition. So October is not only Black History Month and a great month to celebrate culture because it's also freeze week and lots happening in the art scene, but it's also my birthday month. So I definitely like to take advantage and check out some incredible things to do. Speaking of Freeze Week, that's going on from the 13th through the 17th of October. It's where you can explore two of the most influential events on the capital's art scene in one place with the world-renowned Freeze London and Freeze Masters Art Fairs in Regent's Park. Every year, Freeze hosts two incredible art fairs side by side. Freeze London showcases the best of contemporary art and Freeze Masters, which specializes in art from the past. Explore thousands of years of art history from the ancient era and old masters to the late 20th century. Major galleries from across the globe reunite to celebrate the creative spirit of London. You can also enjoy talks from top artists, screenings, and hundreds of galleries showcasing artworks from across the globe, which attracts top exhibitors and buyers to the city. It's in Regent's Park from the 13th through the 17th of October. 
Smartly lining itself up to Freeze Week is the 154 Contemporary African Art Fair, which will once again be held at Somerset House, and this year's dates are the 14th through 17th of October. 154 is the world's leading international art fair dedicated to contemporary art from Africa and its diaspora. It was founded in 2013 in London. New York has its version starting in 2015, and Marrakesh since 2018. It draws reference to the 54 countries that constitute the African continent and 154 is engaged in contemporary dialogue and exchange. This year's exhibition will be presenting work from 48 leading international galleries from 19 countries across Africa, Europe, and North America. This year will feature 20 galleries from Africa, a record number from the continent. You'll be able to see the work of more than 150 emergent and established artists working in a wide variety of mediums and from a range of geographical backgrounds. The fair will be accompanied by 154 Forum, an extended program of artists, talks, panels, screenings, performances, and readings that take place both online and Somerset House. Exploring this moment in history, 154 explores the concept of the drift as a moment for gradual reflection. Well, I couldn't discuss October without discussing Oktoberfest. If you're like me and didn't actually know the oranges of Oktoberfest, it's actually the world's largest beer festival that's held annually in Munich, Germany. The Bavarian Folk Festival is actually a 16 to 18 day festival that starts in the middle of September and goes to the first week of October. More than 6 million people a year attend the event in Bavaria, which originated back in 1810. Well, of course it's gone global and there's plenty of events here in London. The, Cam the Camden Oktoberfest, which is one of many, presents a series of Oktoberfest celebrations that goes across all four Saturdays of October. Their version will be a mix of some of the traditional elements of Oktoberfest, along with a modern twist featuring cutting edge live brass bands and DJs at Electric Ballroom, one of Camden's leading music venues. The region's largest Oktoberfest will take over this historic venue for daytime sessions from 2 to 9 p.m. on Saturdays the 2nd, 9th, 16th and 23rd and 30th of October. Full fancy dresser costumes is encouraged and wait staff will be decked out in authentic Dernal and Lederhosen as they keep your steins filled to the brim. The beers originate from across Germany as supplied by Spaten Lohenbrauen Becks and apparently the legendary Bratwurst Sausage Street Food Trader Brat Brothers is exclusive food partner. Well, I hope you liked this episode of the video showcasing some incredible things to do in London. Make sure to leave me a comment if there's any that you're going to plan to attend. I'm definitely going to be attending some of the Black History Month events and I'm super excited for Freeze Week and 154 Contemporary African Art Festival. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you get out to enjoy what London has to offer in October. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out the other videos on my YouTube channel where I share great things about the London property market and living in this incredible city. So that's Ugo Renze with Onyx Property Team and Keller Williams. Bye for now.